Are we going to put on a great show for the High Patriarch of Hydra? As long as you are in Tokyo, you cannot negotiate with Hydra on equal footing. I can only protect you for 24 hours. After that, they can do whatever they want with this place. Same goes for you and Chime again. If you decide to protect him. This is not unexpected. Before the 24 hours are up, this place will come under blockade again. Hydra's people will gradually seal off all the roads that lead here and shut down all the stations. And then there will be nothing I can do for you. Last night, you should have taken the car and got the hell out of here, taking the injured girl and that ex-top host with you. It would have been difficult, but not entirely impossible. And yet, you decided to stay. Sir, that's a lot of money you put up for bailing us out. What are you going to do if we give you the slip? That is not for you to worry about. It's my job, and you should trust me to do it. I'm a pro. So the stage... Oh, well, it's not like I have a choice. I woke up this morning and found you still here, so I'm going to have to help you a bit more. Looks like the owner wants to wine and dine the Hydra, in the hopes of getting them to show some mercy. Of course. <laughs> Tokyo may not be our turf, but Takanagahara sure is. As the hosts, we have to show our guests a good time. We're throwing a huge party with dazzling performances tonight. It will provide a great atmosphere for smooth negotiations. Let's get to work, boys. There isn't much time left. Tagamagahara will host the grandest event ever. Find a swanky frock and dress yourself up. We are going to make the Hydra people feel right at home. The suppliers have already delivered the drinks for tonight. They are outside. If you have some time, please help moving them inside. Leave them around the bar counter. Hey, newbie. Good timing. Johan and I are performing on stage tonight. I need to change into my costume. We'll be using this motorbike as a prop. Go check its coolant level for me. Here you are. We have a lot of guests coming tonight. We need people to help with the seafood. You do know how to chop a lobster, right? Uh. 
The head of the Fuma clan just called. They're at the front door of Tagamagahara, but they can't find a spot to park! <laughs> all right, all right. Let's go, let's go. After all, we mustn't keep our guests waiting. Here you are, Fumakun. We saved a parking spot just for you. Oh, the house is packed tonight. If it weren't for the owner, you wouldn't even find a parking spot. Susan, you have been very attentive and considerate. Ah, just leave the parking job to us. This way, please, Fumakun and Miss Sakurai. Looks like nothing gets past you, does it? Chimei is my younger brother. Finally here, Fumakun. All the drinks are on the house tonight. Enjoy yourself. It is an honor to see Susan's first investment in Japan. But isn't there too much interference to conduct our negotiation here? The penthouse VIP room is all ready for you. It's very quiet up there. And the balcony offers a stunning nighttime view of Tokyo. The High Patriarch will be very pleased. You have my word that only the High Patriarch and the Devil Clan's Dragon Lord will be allowed in that room. A private meeting? A face-to-face -face meeting. Just what we've been waiting for all this time. Yes, the High Patriarch has ordered that he doesn't expect any strangers in the meeting. You're saying me and Clan Chief Sakurai should stay and enjoy the show. Takanagahara isn't an impenetrable fortress like the Tokyo Tower. I'm sure this place is already surrounded by Hydra's backup forces. <laughs> what can we possibly do to the one and only Emperor in a place like this? Susan, you are indeed well-informed. I assume you are pursuing the legacy of the dragon with your recent investment in us. I thought it was the innermost secret of the clan. I didn't expect it to be known to everyone. I wonder how many there might be in this world who are after the legacy of the dragon. All seals must crumble. All cages must rust. But what is imprisoned inside? That remains immortal. <laughs> Who are we to stop such a thing? Do you mean that this long-buried civilization will eventually return? I don't know. And nobody knows. If there really is a Wheel of Destiny, it must have been set into motion long ago. It cannot be stopped, 
nor can it be turned. Our powers are no match for it, and it's impossible to get off the wheel. We can only do as our instincts command. When the final apocalypse comes, I can only watch from the sidelines. Follow the instinct. Thank you so much for your beneficial advice, Susan. Tonight, you are my teacher. <laughs> Fumakan, you need to loosen up. You're in Takamegahara. Everybody else is drinking. Why shouldn't we do the same? I just want to ask you one question. Have you come to Japan to liberate God? Or do you want to bury him? I promise you that no matter who I am working for, and to what end, I'm still your friend. Until now. I came to Japan to send God back to hell. This world has no place for it. Here's to your answer. Cheers! Cheers! Report. We currently have all 16th Street crossings around Tagamagahara covered. Nothing unusual. Over. Snipers in position. Tagamagahara completely covered. Lobby, clear. Second floor cafeteria, clear. Penthouse balcony, clear. Report in every 30 seconds. Out. Our ninja armed helicopters are on patrol over Tagamagahara. Streets clear according to radar. Over. Good. Wait for my orders. I don't know if Chime told you, but we spent our childhood living together in a village. Just the two of us. I grew up in the mountains with him. When things were at their worst, we only had each other to lean on. But looking back, those were my happiest days. No matter what he's done in the years since, even if he's turned against me, nothing can change the years we spent together. When I was lonely and helpless, he was the one who got me through all those awful years. I don't know why he's betrayed the King's Blade, but this might be a chance that I can't afford to miss. Turns out, their boss is the sentimental kind. <laughs> Quite like his younger brother. Speaking of which, his brother is inside the powder room with Luminous. Since you aren't exactly doing anything anyway... Need someone to take care of her, and who better than me? Okay, okay, just go. It's someone as good looking as me here. What's there to worry about? <laughs> just go, hurry.
why can't you go meet him as your real self? I don't want to show up all weak looking, as if I'm begging for his help. He's expecting to see Ruri Kazama, the head of the Devil Clan. So that's what I'll give him. Only Ruri Kazama can convince him to change his mind. You still hate him a little, don't you? You're right. How can I not hate him? Right when I found out that I was the devil? When I was at my most desperate, most helpless. The one person who was supposed to have my back. He plunged a blade into my heart. I can't choose my lineage. It's one thing to be born dirty. But another for him to think that too. He is full of the light of justice, and he can't have a filthy devil for a brother. But I'm his flesh and blood. How can he forsake me? If things were reversed, if I was the emperor and he the devil, I would take on the entire world to defend him. I would never let him be on the run alone. What is the world compared to your own flesh and blood? My apologies. It's just that too much acting tends to make me overly dramatic from time to time. I cry and laugh at the drop of a hat. That's why you're so popular. All those girls idolize you. Unlike me, even if you dress me up like an idol in Takamagahara, I'm still just a lowly waiter. We're all actors though, aren't we? Life is a performance. And you can never really play your true self, can you? Not necessarily. The boss is always himself, and so am I. The difference is that he's the Prince Charming, whereas I... You're an actor too, Sakura-kun. Albeit not a great one. No! What you see is what you get! I'm not into all that disguise stuff! You talk a lot. But you harbor a lonely soul, it seems. Not lonely, no. Sometimes I'm a bit bored, but time passes easily enough. Is that a disguise too? It's your way of running away from that loneliness. You think you can outrun it if you're fast enough. But one day you'll be too tired. And sooner or later, that loneliness will catch up with you. So what you're saying is... There's no hope for me. There's a girl you like, yes? But you can't be with her. If only you could. No way! You can even tell that? I'm not observing you on purpose. I'm an actor. It's in my nature to observe others. The first time I saw your photo, I thought you were hiding yourself. But you were no good at it. The person inside you is simply too strong. It's itching to burst out at every chance. Not only is the person inside you truly formidable, he's also your authentic self. How do I look? Not bad. But you gotta look the part, too. Remember to control your emotions. Don't worry. I won't mess up an occasion as important as a reunion with my brother. The owner gave you a private penthouse room. It will be just the two of you at the meeting. Remember to stay calm. I understand. Thank you, Lou. I wonder how Finger is doing. 
He volunteered to watch over Zero, but the Ice Queen and the Ultimate Loser isn't exactly a great match. Newbie, go see what's up with them if you have the time.